the IPL coverage a run for its money is election coverage. As the country gears up for the last three phases of polls, it's about getting more and more local. For the first time, all political parties have been allowed to get onto local FM and private radio channels are seeing a boost in revenues. And while the BJP and its allies are going all out on the medium, the Congress, it seems, is still holding back. Sanaa Vishwanath reports. <laughs> Mumbai's Radio City 91.1 सोचने की बारी आपकी आ गई है क्योंकि अब है आपकी बारी वोट करने की संतुलन नहीं है जिंदगी लाचार क्यों लाचार क्यों You may hate it, but you can't ignore it. After the internet, it's the turn of your favorite FM channel to fall prey to the barrage of political advertising. And at a time when everyone, even political parties, have had to tighten their purse strings, the election commission's green signal to advertise on a cheaper medium couldn't have come at a better time. While a 10-second spot in a GEC can cost up to 1.5 lakh rupees, a full-page ad in a national daily can cost a whopping 1.5 crore rupees. Compare that to a 10-second spot on an FM channel that costs between 150 rupees and 1,800 rupees. And you can see why parties are lapping up this medium. Not to mention that radio reaches even far-flung areas and poor and illiterate people. There's always a problem even when you go on a national basis on the television channel, there is always an electricity problem which comes in. But radio is something, there is never an electricity problem, it's all battery operated. And when you go down into the villages, you realize people are very, you know, uh, radio friendly, I would say. And with the FMs coming in a big way in India, with a boom here. So radio has become a great communicator with the villages, the rural belt in India. And uh, we did a little search. And in that search, we realized that 288 constituencies directly have radio, some form of the FM radios in the country. And with uh, a good network of All India Radio, you literally cover up almost about 400 constituencies. All this, of course, spells good news for FM channels, as they are expected to rake in revenues to the tune of a cool 50 crore rupees. Consider the spends of the national parties on the medium. The BJP is spending 20% of its 80 crore rupees budget, while the ruling party Congress has set aside about 5% of its 150 crore rupee budget. Local parties like the Shiv Sena too are aggressively advertising on the medium. BJP has been the longest running campaign as compared to uh, the other political parties. The Congress has used it but has used it uh, um, with high intensity in pockets. So from a long term, ultimately I believe that both of them will end up spending similar kinds of uh, monies on the medium. Uh, I, I think the BJP strategy is very sound to actually um, do a ongoing high intensive uh, uh, campaign because uh, uh, campaigns do take time to build up and to start resonating with the public and to uh, uh, put in that kind of money onto one medium will certainly on an overall basis give them far more uh, cost efficiencies than sp spreading monies thin across several media. With 300 plus operational FM channels in India that has an estimated listener base of 50 million, it is little wonder that political parties have woken up to this lucrative medium of communication. And now let's go across to Lindy Stout who has this new shot spot. We've had Sony balls, exploding paint, dancing bunnies and now take a look at this latest spot for Sony Bravia out of Fallon, London.
And after the break, Sony makes what may be a do-or-die effort. We tell you more.